come and join us on this adventure. As we catapult, there's the boat, the beautiful boat. There's the sunshine she took us to. Come and meet the crew. Cheese boot. That's me, Captain Johnny. There's old Booga Booga Woogie. And here's Tom. Tom, first mate. The wildlife was amazing. The sea was amazing. The notorious Bay of Biscuits. Sit back for 20 minutes or so, 20, 25 minutes, and uh, join us on our adventure. And there'll be more to come. Cheers, folks. Hope you're all well. Peace and love, Johnny. He's turned round to follow us, there. He's turned round to follow us. Land ho! Ahoy, La Caruna! Land ho, man! Feels like we've been away for a million years, man! Hello, Facebookers! Family, friends! Look at that, here we are, Spain! Spain by boat, dinosaur blood and wind powered. Cool, speak to you guys later, love you all, bye! So anyway, made it to Spain. Made it to Spain, no viva España. Anyway, it's a few firsts today. It's Tom's first time in Spain. First time in well, Spain. we're not in there yet. It's Tom's first sight in Spain, except uh, in the tour books and uh, European porn films. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my first big passage in the boat. Uh, country to country, man, across the Bay of Biscay. We're here. Woo. Time Cheers. to uh, crack open a drop of Neptune's blood, man. Cheers, you first, mate. Right. So, uh, here we go. Oh, that tastes sweeter. So sweet. Rum always tastes sweeter once you've crossed the Biscay, and a bit like when you cross the equator, in it, apparently. I haven't offered Booger any rum because uh, he got a dodgy term, I think. So, uh, anyway. England, Spain. Let's get tied up, showered, shaved, shit in a proper toilet in a bucket, cup of tea, hot tea, warm beer, warm tea. beer, yeah, okay. warm tea, straight for the cold beer, and uh, so let's hit the marina. Make it so, number one. <laughs> Good bit of tannage. Uh -huh. How are you, Boo? Uh, How are you? Willie. Over the top, come here, Willie. Come here, Willie, for Facebook. What you think? Hot shower, Boo? Hiya. Hot shower, how does that feel? Oh my god, I guess the only one who knows me, I'm going to be here for at least an hour or two. Amazing. Are you done there? Good shit. I've got to go back. I'll see you in an hour. Yeah, man. That is amazing, huh? Yeah? Tidy, see you later. Beautiful. So we're shit shaved, showered, and shampoo without the shave. Oh, it without smells the amazing. Shave. You smell amazing, Blue? How do you smell? Describe it to the viewers. Hang on, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it. Watch the. This is, how, this is how I check every day. Oh, essence of marine life. Beautiful catapult salt, all gone. Pheromones. What about you, uh, Tombo? How would you feel, it, man? I always smell like shit. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I feel good. He feels good because he's had a beer, but he's fucking <laughs> hungry. We need food, man. He's hungry. How hungry are you? Booger just literally actually nicked bread off another table for us to eat. Because we pulled in the marina, and how much was it for some prawns? 60 quid. 50 pounds. 50 pounds for some prawns, man. And all the others in the water, fucking good advice anyway. Anyway, here we are. The most second most beautiful place in the world after Barry Island. Lovely.
place is pretty cool man, like Aruna. Look at this. Gorgeous man. Just had some grub and a bottle of wine. Um, boys have gone back to bed. I'm off to see if I can find a camping shop to get a regulator and a gas bottle because it's all different down here. So we can um, have barbies on deck at night on our way down the Portuguese coast, man. The trade winds are blowing all week now, 15, 20 knots towards the end of the week. Um, so if you look on the map where we are, we're literally going to come out the marina, turn left, left again down the coast of Portugal. Next stop, Lisbon, man. Um, it's going to be a shame to miss Porto out, but we can't do everything and maybe I'll get to go there another one day, another day, you know? So, um, Porto is a place to visit apparently, so we'll see how it goes. If we can fly down there really quick, it might be worth stopping for a night. Um, but uh, otherwise, next stop, Lisbon, man. And I got my happy shirt on. I only wear this shirt in time for extreme happiness. So, I got the happy shirt, man. <laughs> Love you all. The skipper's been up to pay the bill. 72 euros for three nights. That's not bad going. 26 euros a night, something like that. That's really good. And I've come back to the boat uh, on our work day on the boat, and uh, I got two scurvy ridden landlubbers locked in on the back decks. <laughs> Look at what a life this is, man. We love it. So yeah, we got loads done. I managed to fix that bloody cooker. So um, at least we haven't got to eat baguettes for the next 10 years. Um, got to fix the toilet now. That's going to be a stinky, shitty job, but um, someone's got to do it. And uh, catch you later. Bye. Today's update. Right, today, we got a busy day today. I'm getting the crew to work. The little, little, little ghoulies off. Let me boobs. Yeah. Booger's gonna be in charge. Booger's in charge of domestic duties and the uh, domestic cleaning and the laundry. I ain't gotta fix the cooker because it's a diesel hob, which is amazing. You, I'm gonna rely on gas. But um, I think there's a, a wire shook loose when we was crossing Biscay because a lot of smoke started coming out the back. So and I smoke gotta, started coming in my fucking bedroom. And last his night. bedroom. Oh yeah, we nearly had a fire last night. Uh, some of the sockets got wet in, in uh, under the back locker, and we put the shore power on. And um It's all right though. It would have cooked me first. Yeah, we had we had a fire alarm. Booger was screaming fire. But what did he do? He stayed in bed just shouting, <laughs> Guys, there's a fire somewhere, I can smell smoke. He didn't like abandon ship or nothing like. He was gonna go down with the ship. So I gotta fix the cooker in there, which is a pain in the ass because there's all lots of little wires and little um diesel pipes and tubes. Um Tom's out on the front doing the winches. Let's go and say good morning to Tom. Tom's a top bloke, man. Here we are, look. You tell us what, we, what you're doing, Tom, by there, mate. The winches are all stiff. They haven't been greased in a while, so I'm just taking them apart, uh, getting them free, and then re-greasing them. And there you are. That's how much of a novice I am. I didn't even notice there was anything wrong with them. But apparently the poles, the little clicky bits that catch on the wheels for extra leverage, were okay, clicking in. Oh, smooth, man. Yeah. Sorry, my shit filming. You've got nothing to worry about, Steven Spielberg. I come in for your job. Oh, shit, man. Yeah. That's how it should be. Shit. Shit, look at that. No, oh, nice one, man. Look at that. Worth his weight in gold, old Tom. Cool, man. Tom the hippie. It's amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, we are in the marina, look. Getting a bit of work going on. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes on later. Catapult, we love you. Ah, uh, look, Louis. Fossil fuel and dinosaur blood. What's wrong with people, eh? Uh? Fossil fuels. <sighs> Gotta sort that out, man. Right. Does that look a bit complicated to you? Because it looks a bit complicated to me. Well, what's going to come off? All of it? Mm. It's all sorted up, and I think it's sort sort of caught fire and that's what the smoke is. This is our cooker. And this is why we couldn't have any cups of tea for the last two days on the trip or any hot food. And I've just stripped it apart and it looks a little bit complicated, but um, 
And uh, I did read somewhere that um, sailing and having fun is just fixing your boat in exotic places. So um, I just hope my ADHD will help me hyper focus on this task at hand. I'll be like a Jedi and get it done this afternoon so we can have some hot food. And so Tom can have cups of tea in a boot and not have withdrawal. Yeah, don't want to get Tom hungry. Yeah, don't you like Tom get hungry or tearless. No. So uh, there it goes, let's have a look. I'll let you know how we get on in about half an hour. Me and Ash were doing the, uh, the cooker situation and now he's blasting it out. <laughs> I can't clean it because I can't get it out without breaking the element. So we're going to uh, give it a blast with some compressed air to get all the soot out. Because I think the smoke earlier was just the combustion chamber full of soot and the soot literally caught fire and caused all the smoke. So uh, fingers crossed. He's improvising now with uh, scuba day. Right, this is basically all the tools we've had out to fix the cooker. We've got plumbing tools, diesel tools, electric tools, screwdrivers, spanners, scotch blocks, knives, ratchets, electrics, new cable, wire strippers, allen keys, self-tappers, cooking tools, just to fix the cooker. Right, and it's now one o'clock in the afternoon to two o'clock in the afternoon, and we've been at this for about four hours now, and if it don't work, well, it's too early in the going and the game. It's going to Daisy Jones. Oh, 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 it's going to Daisy Jones. Today is clean the poop shoot out. Not the poop shoot on you, but the poop shoot on the boat. So I've got a sacrificial bit of hose with a tap that I can stick in the septic tank. I'm not have to worry later, I can throw it away then because it's going to be a bit mucky in there. So um, Booger can help me. No fucking can. And um, well, let's see how it goes, isn't it? The shittiest job, the shittiest day ever. So if you know boats, you know shit, because there's always problems in the shitter. Um, I've just come in here now. This valve here is blocked. That way to pump it out, you've got pumping station, that way to dump it at sea, um, and that way to shut. Um, but it's blocked, and the tank is full, absolutely full. Poop. It's full to the brim of poop. So somehow I've got to get that out of there. My God, hang on, I'm going my side again. Um, I might have a poke around there, see if we can get the, the valve a little bit free to empty some out, but shit, man, it's not going to be pleasant. Solid, crusty. Oh, that's never been emptied since I bloody. That's not been emptied for years and years and years since before I bought the boat. Look, it's just full. It's a thick crust in there. This sticks. Oh my god. <laughs> Flash, 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 poop, 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 splash, splash, splash. We now have working heads. Woo. Bypass the poop shoot. I suppose it's like having a, a boat's equivalent of having a cloth to me back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Buzzing of the bees and the cigarette trees, the soda water fountain, where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in that big rock candy mountain. On a summer's day in the month of May, a burly bum come a hiking down a shady lane near the sugar cane. He was looking for his liking as he strolled along. He sung a song of a land of milk and honey, where a bum can stay for many a day, and he won't need any money. Oh, 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 oh. We've just done the arduous task of shop, yeah. The bum. Shop yoch. Shop yoch. Tidy. Shop yoch. And now we're going to do some shopping for beer. In the glass type beer. In La Corona, where there's Corona, but we don't drink the Corona. Hey, you could get a good job as a ventriloquist now, couldn't you? Hey, got the gear, got the gear. Soft boiled eggs. The farmer's trees are full of fruit. The barns are full of hay. Look at this groovy little place. Yeah. Astoria Club. Hey, used to go there. I got it. As much as I enjoy getting here and being on land, well, I've enjoyed being on land. It's been nice and nice. Right. Yeah. I, I, I can't wait to get going again. I'll get a really itchy feet. We have to stay to fix the toilet. But um, I can't wait to get going again. How about you, mate? Yeah, I want, I want to move, move on now. I want to get, I get a little bit of the old. Uh, Alan Wicker, like in, inside me, or you know, the around the world and all that. Yeah, so uh, tomorrow afternoon we'll be off. Next stop, Porto, for some port in Portugal. Porto, baby! Go away, man! There's some supporters over there, but another yeah. thing about. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. No, no, not the football. It's the birds sing in that big rock candy mountain. So anyway, um, by the kit we've got out today, what do you think we'll be doing on a sunny October ninetieth day? <laughs> So what do you think we'll be doing today? Ah yes, we'll be scuba diving. Will we be scuba diving just for fun? No, I for my glasses, I was drunk. Glass in the drink. In the drink. Booger fell asleep, drunk on the net, the first night we got here. And now his glasses are in Davy Jones's locker. So, John, be the best man he is. As he is. He's gonna, gonna, he's gonna go and get him for him. And I'm gonna go in the mucky, shitty harbour water get boogie woogie specs yeah. because he can't do his night watch without them so he's not getting away with that easy so we, even though the glasses are in the drink i was actually quite happy so i don't have to do any <laughs> night watches <laughs> so guys and girls really hope you enjoyed watching that and having as much fun as we did hope you had your smelly vision on so you could smell that toilet i still got it rammed up my nostrils i can still smell it when i watch that vid so anyway do you think we found Booger's glasses? Have a little look on uh, the next time I uh, got five minutes to sit down and spend three months trying to edit a video with my big sausage fingers. Uh, great stuff, guys. Love you all. Bye for here now. He, uh, here he comes. Rick Roddy down there.